Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another beautiful day here in the Mushroom Kingdom. We are getting underway in another race of Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer here on Speed Gaming. I'm Cycle, and I'm joined by LZ Cards Fan. How are you doing, Cards? I'm doing pretty good, and we don't have much time for an intro because these runners are underway. On the left, we have Mitch Flowerpower, who is currently undefeated and vying for a potential number one seed in the bracket stages, versus Dave Lindo, who is trying to keep his hopes in Group C alive to advance the brackets. On the right side, we have, in Group H, Ryko Ryder versus Fred Coughlin. Fred Coughlin looking for his first win in group play. Ryko Ryder would like to try and sweep to go to three and three and give himself a shot at making it to the bracket stages himself. And we have uh, two different seeds that these runners are gonna be running tonight. As you can see, we're getting rather level ones levels in the first world. And this is because the worlds are in vanilla order in the first seed that we're running. As you see, we have different enemies, that boss pass, infiltrating one two and the levels are basically going to be where you expect to see them the world you expect to see them in just shuffled around there's going to be a few exceptions with forts and levels changing places because some forts may move between worlds but other than that the worlds are exactly where you expect to see them you're right about that and fred coughlin taking down boss pass not once but twice with the use of that star man and next up these runners are going to be tackling one three so getting a somewhat vanilla-ish order here, because uh, these are two of the first three stages normally in the game that have already shown up here. Now, something that's gonna be interesting is how the runners also utilize things like the end card game, because you can get some unique items from the end card game than compared to the normal game. Yeah, that's right. You never know what those cards are going to produce if you make those matches. Now, Mitch opting not to take the uh, three uh, three of a kind. He had actually gotten a mushroom on a one, two. But Dave Lindo opted to get some insurance, so he's got nine extra lives by getting the three stars. And, oh, double, double takedowns in one, three by both Ryko and Fred. Both are having issues with that. Uh, one three is causing issues on both runners on the right side here, whereas Dave is keeping up somewhat. Uh, Mitch is uh, about a level ahead at this point. Dave is going through the fortress. Mitch is in one six. Er yep, one six. Mitch yep. in one six, using the raccoon tail to his advantage. Dave not opting to go for the free item on top because we need to break that lock as Mitch gets his namesake from the cards. Now needs to take care of this hammer, brother. We'll see what he gets. Ryko opting to go behind the curtain to get what the warp whistle would normally be in the vanilla game, and it is a hammer for both Ooh. Fred and Ryko. Now, they're not going against either of the runners on the left, but if they had been, that would be something that, if it is scarce elsewhere, could give them a huge advantage later on. However, they are against each other. They both have that hammer. No advantage here. Yep, that's right. Uh, two runners on the left are going against each other. Two runners on the right going against each other. And we have a very thick Larry Koopa, but not very healthy in the HP, HP department. Just a two-hitter, and Mitch is done with World 1. Now, I know we were talking about these uh, races before the run started, and Mitch has some very high potential for this race. Wouldn't you agree that's the case? Oh, absolutely. He was the runner-up in the 2018 tournament and was our third place finisher in the 2019 tournament. So he definitely has high hopes of trying to win the whole thing this year in 2020. If he does go 2-0 tonight against Dave Lindo, he would go 6-0 and and potentially take the number one seed of the brackets based on what his times are. So what he wants is a couple of really fast seeds tonight to help give him a better chance of getting that quick time. We've seen some seeds in this tournament that have been longer times just because of the way they had to be run he wants to find two really quick ones here today you're right about that Ryko getting the three stars so he's up to seven extra lives so yeah Dave Linda would love to play spoiler and take away one game against Mitch not only would that be playing spoiler from costing Mitch the number one seed but it would also keep his hopes of making it to the brackets alive because he would go to two and two and against DLP or excuse me, Glumatic Acid, if he wins just one of those games, he would advance to the bracket. Mitch not having any luck with the card game on his first go there. Found uh, three different items and then a fourth item that matched one of those two that he can get on the second trip. We see Mitch now in 6F2. Interesting, 6F2 here in World 2. That means we're not going to see 6F2 in World 6, which also means there's going to be at least two forts here in World 2. Interestingly, this always seems to be the fourth that tends to uh, change worlds, I find. And a lot of the seeds I've called, this uh, one fort shows up either World 1 or World 2 most of the time. So it's not a surprise to see that fort early. 
Usually I see five F2 show up. That's the one that has the red colored fort. Mitch having a little bit of trouble with the fire bros there and picks up a Jugum Cloud for his effort. Speaking of Jugum Clouds, that is the item that Princess Toadstool is going to give all four of our runners for completing World 1. And that cloud in the first seed, more so than the second, but in both, but more in the first, it's going to be a huge strategy aspect because there are several levels that these runners obviously know are going to, is behind the card in question. For example, the five in World 7 is going to be stage 7-5, long stage that requires about 40, 45 seconds of running around. We're going to have a couple of swimming water levels in World 6. You're going to have the famous 5-9, which is an auto-scroller. Where you use those clouds and how you get around the world in those later worlds, it could be a criterion who wins these races today. You're right about that, Ryko. Picking up one match in the card game, it was a flower, but we're not going to see what that flower is at the moment. On the right side here, Ryko versus Fred. Ooh, Ooh and Mitch getting sandwiched between that Koopa Troopa and the Cheap Cheap there. Just had no chance right there in 2-1. That's the exact word I was going to use for that. He literally got sandwiched in between a rock and a rock and a couple of hard places. <laughs> well, this is not very uh, much of a rock and a hard place for Mitch. He just picked up a hammer. That is another hammer on the ledger for Mitch. And already he's going to be on his way to the World 2 airship. So World 2 airship, we're only six minutes into the race. This is how good Mitch is this game. He goes through these seas blazingly fast. Here is the saltiest Koopa on the planet, Morton Koopa, and only two hits, not a very <laughs> salty one. And Mitch, I think, got high enough to get the animation skip. As Fred Coughlin takes down the Boom Boom in 6F2, Dave Lindo now finds himself in 2-1, and Ryko Ryder in the Spike Fort, it's 4-2. And you were right, uh, Mitch did get the animation skip. Went right past the animation, already getting the wand of the king, and that saves, I don't know, about five, six seconds. Yeah, something like that. It's quite a bit of time, and next up we've got World 3. Now, on the right side between Ryko Ryder and Fred Coughlin, they really would like to get a sweep out of this to keep their hopes alive, especially Ryko Ryder. That would get himself to 3-3. Three and three. Fred, if you were to sweep DLP, Ryko would get into the bracket stages. Now, if Fred sweeps, then that match between him and DLP is definitely going to have big-time ramifications. Yeah, we'll talk more about that before we go to break here between the races. There is a lot of ramifications related to this, and who wins the first race is going to really develop what we want to talk about here. Let's continue with the race for now, though. We do have Mission World 3. Again, the levels are appearing in a somewhat vanilla order in this. We saw 3-1. We're seeing 3-2. So uh, we're seeing somewhat vanilla level order here. Ryko gets his hammer from the uh, World 5 variety of Hammer Brothers stages there. And now Ryko will take his turn at 2-1. Fred needs to make sure he doesn't fall. Oh, that was close. Right. Raikou has one of the sandwiches that Mitch had for lunch. Oh, that is brutal there. Mitch now back to the cards, finds a pair of stars. No match on the 10 and 1 up. You can miss twice after that. Ooh, a nice break there on 10. Now he's got to find the 20 and finds the 20. How about a mushroom? There's a match. Ooh. Finds a flower. There's the one up. Oh, good matching. Ooh, not quite, oh. but six pairs of matches there. A it's couple like Hammer a... Brothers suits. Nice, and a Leaf. Very good items there from the end card game for Mitch. He could be all set for the rest of this run as we now yeah. enter 3-6. That Hammer Brothers suit gives for the quickest Koopa fight. If you can get to Bowser with it, you can finish the game very quickly. So that is definitely going to be saved for Bowser's Castle. We're going to try and get through the last part of that game as fast as possible. Mitch, knowing his skill level, no chance he's going to go for the fireworks here. He's currently got six extra lives. Dave Lindo now taking his shot at the cards. Can he find the 20? Nope, that's the 10. Looks like he might have the same rack as Mitch in the card game. There's another Hammer Brother suit. Wow, as if we didn't have enough Hammer Brother suits already. Boy, the rich just keep on getting richer here, Cyclone. No kidding. This is already more Hammer Brother suits I think that you can get in the main vanilla game right about that. I think you can only get like one or two. Here's three, four for Mitch. Now Ryko currently trailing against Fred here. Fred entering World 3, but Ryko just completed World 2, taking down Morton Koopa. He'll be moving on to World 3. 
and Mish gets through three, four, and uh, let's see what what levels lie ahead on the map for Mish at this point. Uh, the fort is here, and it looks like number three is over there where five normally is. Yep, here's three F two, the underwater fort that Mitch is in right now. Raiko is about to get his letter from the princess and another item to help him out, which is going to be I don't know. Went too quickly. <laughs> So Dave is going through, it looks like, 3-6 right now. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mitch now taking on Boom Boom here in 3-F-2. Having a little bit of trouble here. One more hit needed. He got him. Now, someone might have been asking, why was the 3-6? That's normally an auto-scroller level. Why was it not auto-scrolling? Something we should point out is that auto-scrolling is turned off for the majority of the levels in the randomizer. The only one that in this particular seed format that is currently on is 5-9. Every other level is turned off. The reason 5.9 is on is because the level may not function correctly. You may not be able to get to the end based on how the platforms go if the auto-scrolling is not activated. Yeah, you're correct about that. Another auto-scroller that is not turned off are the coin heavens. That's why you're not going to see runners generally. Look at that. Another hammer <laughs> for Mitch. <laughs> the rich continue to get richer here, Cyclone. As I was about to mention, we don't turn off the... Uh, uh, auto scrollers in the coin heavens and that is why three seven is typically not an item these runners are generally going to go after unless it's early and you're calling about the rich getting richer i think uh the randomizing the seed randomizer realized that mitch was running and needed to generate a fast seed because he's getting probably the best gift he can for a fast seed right now yeah, and he wants to have a fast seed if he wants a shot at the number one seed overall going into the bracket stages, as we're now going to find out if Wendy had her thick burgers or if Mitch is just going to fire her down. Just fire her down. We're wow. Right down. That was a perfect <laughs> kill right there for Mitch. Baconators, what are those? Absolutely brutalized the poor girl. Oh, absolutely. Man. Not gonna, you're not going to get too many ladies with that kind of treatment. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. On the right side here, Raiko took care of the Boom Boom in 3F1. And Fred currently on 3-4. Now, you have a question, Sha, how we know who's winning here. Just explain once again. The runners on the left are racing against each other. The runners on the right are racing against each other. So there are going to be two winners of each seed that we run here today. Someone on the left, someone on the right. Uh, we're going to, uh, the way you know who's ahead is look at the world that each is in and where they are on the world map. The world number is located on the bottom. Even in the next uh, seed where the or worlds are scrambled, it will still show as one, two, three, four in order regardless what world they're in. So that's the way you can tell if they're ahead, who's ahead. Mitch back to the cars. He completes the board. He gets the last three on the bottom row and gonna check out the other pipe here and we're gonna have to build a bridge and we find the rare world 7 beta hammer brother stage layout if there were any hammer brothers in world 7 this is what the stage would look like but there aren't any we found uh four world four fort two I don't know what the name of this fort is uh, some people call it the donut fort because of the donuts are in the first half of this fort I can see that. And Boom Boom is destroyed again. Yep, another fire kill there for Mitch as Dave Lindo now in the World 3 airship. He's not going to have the fire suit to take down Wendy, so now we're going to get an idea of how many hits she is. And this is not a good oh, start. Oh, this is Dave. not. This is really not a good start. Trying to set it up one hit. No, it's not a one hitter. Oh, oh, too close to the wall. Yeah, that's a tough one there for Dave. And that is not what you want to do against a runner like Mitch. No, when you're against a runner like Mitch, you have to have everything go perfect. Even if it's not as fast as you can possibly go, you have to try and keep everything perfect because you're relying on Mitch to make a couple mistakes. And if you can keep your run perfect, even if it is slower, you can still come out ahead. Oh, absolutely. And Mitch really hasn't made any mistakes up to this point. The only the only uh, mishap he had was the 2-1 sandwich there. Otherwise, he's kept the, sh kept the sheet clean here. To be fair, that 2-1 sandwich might be something that would catch a lot of runners. Dave Lillo takes care of Wendy on the second try, however, and he'll be moving on to World 4. However, Mitch is about to be done with World 4 and Iggy Koopa coming up. Wow, excellent demonstration of how to run World 4 airship. I don't see, not every runner is able to run it the way that he just ran it. That is how you do it perfectly. 
Wiggy, a lot of HP. It's a four hitter there, but Mitch takes care of him, keeps his fire suit. He'll be moving on to World 5. By the way, the letter in World 3, Anchors, and that anchor could mean anything, Cyclone. It could. Very close race between Ryko and Fred on the right side, but Mitch is starting to pull away, pull away against Dave Lindo here in game number one, and we get the famous Lou Gehrig speech from the king, <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> phrases. And what does Peach give? A Tanuki suit. Interesting. This is a three-fort world four because this is 6F3, the carpet fort. We did not see that on uh, Mitch's side. So this is not going to be the right fort to build the bridge as Mitch is now in 5-1 and 5-1's location. No less picks up a fire flower. Dave in 4F2 getting ready to take on the boom boom. Let's see how he does in that fight. One more, and he got him. Ryko oh. takes care of 6F3, and now Fred's in 6F3 with the frog suit. He used the uh, anchor and turned into a frog suit, so there you go. Oh, could be worse. We'll take a frog suit any day of the week. Who knows, it might be <laughs> the only time we see a frog in it this might. particular set of flags. Ooh, Mitch and down we're... to small. Good safe play there, not running over the uh, hot foot there just needs to take care of boom boom and that was the fire for it as well so uh that's that's a very hot place to be needless to say yeah but mitch makes quick work of the boom boom moves on to the next level Ranko gets a star here in the donut fort fred about to wrap up 6f3 he does Dave Lindo in that same 6F3. Boom Boom down on his side. Here's Ryko's chance against Boom Boom here in 4F2. We need a couple more hits. One more, and he got him. Done. So it looks like we have uh, Fred working Donut Fort right now, picking up his Starman right behind Ryko Ryder. And Mitch is, Mitch is already in the World 5 airship. Yeah, he's got a lot of resources. In fact, he has so many resources. He's using the Hammer Brothers suit in the World 5-4. Roy's our boy, but how beefy is he? One hit, that's not enough. And he's got Earthquake. Two is not enough. Three. No, sir. How about four? Four, four. hits. Thick. Oh, he, he was ready to go for this race, but when you're up against somebody like Mitch, it doesn't matter. You got no chance. We haven't seen any five hit Koopas in this race yet either, I don't believe. I still remember seeing one that had about six of them. Oh, by the way, because Mitch completed the airship with the Hammer Brothers, you were going to get a special phrase. Hammer Brother! In the castle! Thought you ought to know. <laughs> so let's see what kind of item the princess gives Mitch here, and it'll be a P-Wing. That could come in handy. Meanwhile, Ryko in the lead against Fred. He's the first one to the World 4 airship, and Fred now in 4F1, which I believe is the fort needed to build that bridge. Let's see how Ryko does against Iggy here. Remember, it was a four-hitter. There's three. One more to go. Got him. Those fire stings are everywhere today. They're even working in Ice World. Oh, man, yes, indeed. Dave Lindo now in the World 4 airship, but he's going to need a lot of help from Mitch to come back in this one. I mean, Mitch has just turned on the afterburners. I think I think he's feeling it. He wants that number one seed. Oh, I, I guarantee you he knows what's on the line. With. He can pull off a couple good seeds, and he knows he's getting everything he needs to pull off the fast one here. So barring a uh, very slow seed in the second uh, seed, and just in terms of how it's run, this might... This might be a good way to guarantee him a number one seed, just getting a quick one right here. You're absolutely right there, Cyclone, here, as Dave Lindo completes the World 4, and we'll be moving on to World 5. Fred at the cards, but no match. The board goes back, and Ryko now in 5-1, but Fred ready to go for the World 4 airship. 5-1 is one of those stages that I would skip if I could because it's a long trek getting up and over those... Uh, that cliff, that mountain you have to climb, and then come back down the other side. So that can be a little longer than it looks when you first go in. Mitch is trying for the 6-5 clip here. He's in 6-5 right now, which, by the way, had a boss bass that despawns right there. But Mitch Ooh. gets the clip! Nice! 
Oh my goodness gracious. Who cares about boss pass? Who cares about having a tail? I'm getting out of 6-5 with my fire suit. Tail schmail. Yeah, who needs that fox anyways, right? <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. And he's got a hammer. So unless there's a bridge, he's just going to be ready to go to World 7. Yeah, he's... Uh, and we're going to have to see. World 7 is where things really start to get interesting because we're going to have a pipe maze. And it's not going to be about just getting through the levels fast. By the way, this is uh, to two here so this level came into this from uh, the world six fort being moved to world two so level right. world seven is not about just finding world seven is not just about finding the right the levels and going through the levels fast you have to find the pipe solution to get to the end of the world as quick as you can correct and now mitch hope and no bridge need to be built let's take a look no bridge needs to be oh. built he's on his way so here we go Mitch in the World 6 airship where Lemmy Koopa awaits. And typically when I'm doing commentary, he's a one-hitter. Let's see if that holds true again or if he finally becomes a jumbo shrimp. Raiko in the 5F1 takes care of Boom Boom. He'll be moving on. And meanwhile, Mitch down in Lemmy's he's world. A shrimp and again! You got a one-hitter! I'm telling you, it's a blessing when I'm doing commentary when these runners have to go against one of the tougher Koopas in Lemmy. He's a shrimp again. I think that's the first one I've done where he's been a shrimp. Maybe first second. one you've done? Man, you got to do think. more commentary with me. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> but Mitch is done with World 6 just under 22 minutes. If this is one of those World 7s that is just one pipe and boom to the exit, yeah, he could be. He could post potentially the fastest time of the tournament. What, what is the fastest time? I wonder at this point. I don't know, but I know Gamer Cow had a race where two seeds were both under, were both sub thirty. So well, a bridge and a lock on the island. So obviously, Mitch doesn't like what he sees on that pipe. So he's gonna play seven nine. And not gonna do the clips this time. He's gonna fly up, which is definitely the preferred strategy. About ready to be done with 5-2. Fred's in a Fire Brothers situation here. Picks up a 1-up. Already has 13 extra lives and gets a Mushroom. Mitch having some Mitch, trouble here in 7-9. Yeah, Mitch is down to uh, one last hit. Now, finds the power up and that'll help him. He's at the end now, though, and just has to survive whatever's on the other side of this pipe. So far, nothing. And still nothing, and that's it. Yeah, there's nothing at the end. You, I know I know. with some stages there is a Hammer Brother on the left or right, but in 7-9 there isn't anything. No. All right, bitch, going to check out this pipe. He's hoping it takes him to the Promised Land, which, well, now it's well, another game of pick the pipe. Will this be the Promised Land? No. No, it's a Pyrani. Now, he's using the advantage of the screen scroll to skip the Pyrani stage because if you land on that plant as you screen scroll, or a Hammer Brother as well, then you can move to the next direction immediately after that screen scroll is complete. You don't actually have to do that stage. Found it. And we had three forts in World 7 this time around. Oh. Had another hammer and the music box. He's on his way to the airship. Raikou, however... I was going to say, sub-30 is definitely possible with this seed at this point if World 8 lines up correctly. Well, World 8 tends to not cooperate, though. No. Let's be honest here. But even, even with someone like Mitch at the podium here. But you never know. This could be one of those rare God World 8s. If that's the case, that's really going to help Mitch's chances of maybe capturing that number one seed. Here's the Luddy fight. One hit's not enough. There's two. And three. It's a three. That's Vanilla. So right. no really overpowered Koopa Kids today. A couple fours of uh, Shrimp Lemmy. Yep, no fives yet. Raiko currently has the lead on Fred. He just started World 60s in 6F1. Fred about to ramp up World 5 against Roy. He's got the fire suit in hand. He may have a shot at a fire kill. We'll see what happens here as he's about to start the fight right now. There, yep, He's going to go for the regular fight. Remember, it was a four hitter. There's three. It's one more and got him. Nice job there for Fred. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, we, we're not going to know because, remember, in Randomizer, 
Koopa does give an item at the end, but you have to check your inventory to find out what it is. That's not the case in the vanilla game. All right, people in chat, predict how many bridges it is going to take to get to the path to Bowser's Castle. How many they have to build or how many they have to on the map? How many on the map? Is that a Hammer Brothers suit in the hand stage? Another Hammer Brothers suit. So all hand stages are going to be Hammer Brothers suit. Can you believe this? Mitch finds the army, but it looks like this is required, so he's not taking the intentional here. He is going to play it out. So this is the uh, tank stage. I actually think this is harder than the so-called super tanks. I had a, when I was a kid, I had a hard time with this stage. I have to agree with you there, and it's a longer stage as well. And it is. I mean, you have the one power, but you have to go a long ways, and they have to go a long ways, and then we have a fire suit, but thankfully, Mitch, well stocked. Let's see what it's going to give him. A mushroom. Meanwhile, Dave just completed World 5. You know, he's played really well himself. The problem is, he's up against a buzzsaw right now. And, uh, well, Riker and I just fed the fishies. One specific fishy. Yep, indeed. Oh, and that was also a Hammer Brother completion for Dave Lindo as well. So far, we've seen one lock, and I've only seen the one lock. We could see several bridges. Let's take a look. We, now, there's another lock, so no more than two bridges. There's another pipe check for Mitch. Is this the one that's going to take him to Bowser's castle? Yep, and two bridges required. And I'll tell you what, it was the first two. We could have had um, a four bridge potential there. There was actually a pipe on the other side of the first chasm of water, so it might be a one bridge. Right. He might only need one of those two bridges. So I give credit if you say both one or two. If you said one bridge, you are correct. If you said two bridges, you're correct. Now of course, the trick, is, the trick is find that other pipe, though, that leads to the one where you only need one bridge, especially if that one is built first. Correct. Now, Mitch is going to play the super tank stage here. Did take some damage, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem for him. And here's the boom, boom fight. Ryko Ryder now in the World 6 airship, continuing to keep his lead on Fred as Mitch does indeed take down boom, boom. He'll move on to the next one. Dave Lindo finds himself in... 6-5 and wants no part of that boss pass. Now it looks like uh, Mitch is going to go back into the pipes having completed the second of his uh, tasks of uh, lock or bridge building stages. And pulls out a Starman to blaze through 8-1. Uh, now it looks like this may be required to complete this seed here whether you like it or not. So unfortunately, this is, is not proven to be the God World 8 that I think Mitch was hoping for. It's a typical Great Equalizer World 8, if I do say so myself. But I'll tell you what, he played that 8-1 like a, knife, a hot knife through butter. Yeah, he just slipped through that stage as quickly as you could. Yeah, starting with that star, you know, really gave him the edge he needed as he's now going to take on the Air Force. And I'll be honest, 8-1 is another one of those stages that gave me nightmares for a while. That's another one you might cloud over, but this is not a good idea to cloud over in this particular setup, given where the levels are and where required levels are as well. So, Dave in the middle of World 6 right now. Raiko currently in 7-9, but now he's down to Small Mario, having the same problem that Mitch had. And look out! Need to get that power, but he does just in time. And there is the shrimp going down on Fred's side. He'll be moving on to World 7. Okay, Mitch will... May go looking for another pipe to take him past that first chasm and hope the second bridge is built. Let's see what happens here. This may be that Jeremy pipe says, right here. There it is. No, oh, you got to be kidding. Yep, we've got to beat in the Navy. Yes, you can sail the seven seas. That is as far as I'm going to go, folks. I don't think, have we seen the fort yet? I don't think we've seen the fort. Oh, you're right. We haven't seen the World 8 fort. I forgot about that. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's the Navy. Maybe it's World 8. We'll find out. Well, it makes nearby, so we're going to find out in a moment here. All right. And Fred going to use the hammer to pick the lock here. And unfortunately, he doesn't see very good stuff. He's going to play out 7-4. Meanwhile, though, Raiko, is he... Oh, he's no! out of hammers! He's out of hammers! Oh, you hate to see it. And... 
And by the way, Mitch just went to try across the bridge again, but the bridge was still not there. World 8 Fort is needed to build the bridge. That's all five locations oh, that have to be visited in the World 8 I'll tell for him. You. One person right now who is happy to see Mitch struggling in World 8 is Gamer Cal. Because remember, he's got the number yeah. one seed going into this. As Ryko does get the 7-1 clip, so he'll be moving on. So Mitch is going to try and get through door four as quick as possible. A P-Switch may do this in one shot. He is very capable of doing this. Let's see if he can run through and get it done. Takes a hit. That costs a moment of time, but he made it through. Still managed to get the one cycle. Meanwhile, Raikou is in Fort Knox, but has no tail. So he's got to activate the P-Switch, grab some coins, and grab this Tanuki suit. We do not know which level is the one that's going to break that lock. He's hoping it's going to be Fort Knox. Otherwise, he may have to play the dreaded 7F2. Yeah, Fred does have a hammer. Th this could t turn the race around here, Cyclone. Indeed. Oh, and we have the sprite limitation problem on Fred's side. That can happen in 7-9. He can't break those icebergs. Now he's able to do so. Wow. There's the bridge for Mitch. So now he's on his way to Bowser's Castle. No star needed. Let's see if he can get those clips. And it will not be a sub-30. He's now actually at 31 and 15 seconds. So... He as you said, as you were saying, Gamer Cal is the person who advantages the most by this because there's not going to be, he's going to have that few extra minutes on him that uh, Mitch had to give up looking his way through World Eight here. Absolutely, this had to be a full clear. What and the a first perfect try. clip! That's exactly what Mitch wanted because he doesn't have to go through the fireball gauntlet. It doesn't have to go through the laser statues. So here we go. Hi Bowser. And bye, and bye, Bowser. Get your GGs out for Mitch. He goes to 5-0 and oh in Group C. And we'll have his time as soon as he crosses the line here. But, uh, yeah, 5-0. and oh. And Mitch is looking for that sixth win so he can have a perfect record. Going to try to still go for that number one seed. But it's going to be a lot harder to do it with the second seed after a 32-second time here. His official Esther all time is 32 <laughs> minutes. Did I say seconds? 32 minutes and four seconds. <laughs> If he had a 32 second, that would guarantee him the number one seed. That would guarantee one. him the number one seed. And that would also give him a lot of questions. No worry, Cyclone. I've, I've made that mistake a few times myself. You're you're good. All right. So uh, now the rest of the runners here are going to be fighting for pretty much second place. Dave Lindo going to try and wrap this one up. Raiko, meanwhile, has completed World 7. He'll be moving on to World 8, so he currently still has the lead. So it looks like, I believe, now I could be wrong about this, I believe Fort Knox was the ticket. Uh, Fort Knox, I didn't, I was watching uh, Mitch's side, so I didn't see a lot was happening on the right as I was watching commentating on Mitch, but uh, Fort Knox seems like it might have been involved. I know that Mitch got through a lot quicker, though. I don't think he did Fort Knox. Did he? No, because remember, he had the hammer, whereas Ryko did not. Yeah. Oh, yes. True. You know, no, uh, Mitch did not have to play a single fort in that World 7, but I tell you, he practically played a perfect first seven worlds, but then World 8 doing World 8 things. So now we're going to go to... The rest of the racers here. We have the audio on Dave Lindo at the moment. Yep. Raiko versus Fred. Raiko takes care of Boom Boom here in the World 8 Super Tanks level. Welcome back, everyone, for race number two between Raiko Rider, Fred Coughlin, Mitch Firepower, and Dave Lindo all coming up here on this main channel, Speed Gaming. We are the second of two races right now, and we have a much more random seed tech than we did last time, don't we, Laws? LZ. That's right, Cyclone. You can call me Laws or LOZ. Laws, either. yeah. Either is fine. This is a flag set number two. So we have everything uh, flip-flopped here. we got the worlds shuffled up. We've got all of the levels shuffled up as well. Plus, we might, we've added a few surprises. There are going to be some beta levels that I'm sure are going to pop up. And one beta level we don't want to see is one that we affectionately call Atlantis. Remember those auto-scrollers that are turned off for the most part? Well, that's an auto-scroller that is not turned off. Well, maybe they don't want to see it, but we kind of do because we want to see them suffer, right? Right. So people in chat predict what world we are going to start with here. 
number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Again, eight is not valid because it is always the last world. What do you think is going to be first, Laws? Two. I always like to see seven. Six. Ah, six. All right, six it is. There could be up to three panel tens here, depending if we have one, two, or three forts. So far, we see two forts. There's all three. All three on the same screenshot. And Mitch, not off to a good start with those boomerang brothers. Oh, this is even worse. <laughs> the water screen. <laughs> Speaking of water, we have three F2 on Raiko's side. Unfortunately, missing oh. up on that power, but good thing for Raiko. Guess what? It respawns. We already found door for it, so that is uh, being done very speedily. It looks like uh, Raiko decided to stop for the power up here. We're going to get this synced up for you in just a moment as well. Absolutely here, and Fred trying for the flower here. He's going to have to do a very difficult jump. Almost got it there. He gets it this time, but with that, Raiko is going to take a lead on him now. This is a must-win for Fred Coughlin. He is currently 0-3. If he loses, he'll drop to 0-4, and, and he's going to be eliminated from bracket play. If Raiko wins, that would take him to 3-3, three and three, and it would keep his hopes of advancing to the bracket stages alive and well. So next up on this panel, we have 4-6. Oh, and Mitch, another is claimed again, this time by a sledgehammer brother. I'm not having a lot of good luck with the uh, Koopa kill so far here. Koopa, or I should say boomerang, but the turtle kills is what right. I mean to say. Yeah, we okay. all get tongue-tied by the many different types of Hammer Brothers that we see. And that was a much-needed one-up that Mitch just found there. And, oh, great kill of the Fire Bros there. Gets a star for his efforts. That is a dangerous screen. Mitch made that look easy. Fire Brothers are probably the worst turtle you could face in any of the uh, any of these. Even the Sledge Brothers are weak compared to them, in my opinion. Right, I agree. I would rather face a Sledge Bro than a Fire Bro. P-Wing there for Fred. Dave Lindo taking care of the Hammer Brothers on his side. Gets a P-Wing of his own. Raiko clears his screen, gets the music box. We have a hand stage. It is the cheap, cheap stage that Fred almost falls off. He's able to stop himself in time. Now, whatever prize is in the chest at the end is going to be the prize in all three hand stages if we see more than one. Well, look at this. So we have three F1 one is. and three F2 now as well to go with it. So what is the hand prize going to be? We're going to find out in just a moment here. It is a P-Wing. That's actually not a bad hand prize. Yeah, pretty good prize. If there's a stage that we see that we don't like, you know, we can pay the 100 coin toll and use a P-Wing to just skip over if we don't have that Jugum Cloud. Fred in some trouble, though. He's in the water with these Boomerang Brothers. It takes them both down on one swoop. That was crazy. Not bad. And Boom Boom is down for Raikou. Boom Boom is going to go down for Mitch. Yeah, pretty even between Mitch and Dave Lindo here. Dave with a slight lead as Raikou finds that same hand stage. He'll get a P-Wing if he's able to clear it. Fred now in 3F2, the water fort. And the hand stage being done by our left runners right now and also by Raikou Rider. So they're going to get their first P-Wing. Yes, indeed. Dave used the star there and gets through that cheap, cheap state, cheap, cheap stage, no trouble oh. at all. And now four, 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 four. We found the. Uh, this is a, this could actually be dangerous, but if you swim fast enough, you can avoid getting hit by any of those spinies and get through this level quickly. Mitch with the pro strats, bopping that Jugum Cloud to skip a fair portion of this stage. But he just comes back very quickly, and boy, when he throws those spiny shells into the water, he does it quick, expeditiously, as it were. The water is at a different level on each side, too, so it's actually a different uh, different height that the cloud comes back at, that he comes back at. Dave, able, able to just sneak into the finish line before that spiny uh, could chase after him, and now the third fort of World 6 is 4F1. Mitch and Raiko in the same stage. Raiko taking the bottom path. I would imagine Mitch will take the upper path, which he does. Hoping for a star. Not even going to bother the check. 
was a great 4-off one there for Mitch. Just needs to take care of Boom Boom, which he does. Ryko's turn. He could have stopped for the start. Might have given him a couple extra seconds, but uh, still a negligible amount of time. Unless you have a very close race on hand, then you probably want those couple seconds. Dave, meanwhile, looks like he's going for upper path as well. Nice duck there. Takes damage there. Is there a star? No, it's a mushroom. No, it's a mushroom. It's a good thing you didn't check. Mitch found his namesake in the end card game, so he did get one match, but we're not going to find out what that prize is right now. Here's another hand stage. Two hand stages here in World 6. Wow. My favorite one, the coins. I'll get another but, P-Wing. But you know what that means? It means you get two P-Wings, yeah. yeah. That's great. Here's the end card game for Ryko. Let's see if he fares better than Mitch did. No match on his Mushroom first go. Star. Flower, flower. Ooh, nice. There's a match. One up. No match there. Did get one. The same flower that... Mitch got, and we're not going to find out what it is just yet. No. Panel 7 or panel 3? Panel 3, and it's 6-7. Now, for those who might be looking at this and thinking, you know, the card game is seated, like in Link to the Past Randomizer, where, you know, Agonim is seated and things like that. No, they're not seated at all. The card games are completely random. They're not even the regular 8 patterns you see in the vanilla game. They are completely randomized. Yeah, it's eight different patterns. Both runners could potentially get the same pattern. We've seen that right. before. But yeah, the patterns are different than the vanilla counterpart. Echo able to keep his fire flower the entire way here in 6-7, which I could never do because I always like to shoot the coins on the left, but no one's going to do that. Not even for swag points. Ryko taking the fireworks, five extra lives. He's now got 10. Mitch Wait, also, yeah. Wait, Tommy, I shot the coins before. But I'm not speedrunning either, so. Right, that doesn't count. Here's the World 7 ah. airship. By the way, Mitch also opting to take the fireworks. He was down to just one extra life, so in his case, I certainly don't blame him for taking the insurance. A world set, uh, that, yeah, World 7 airship is the first airship. That's the hardest of the seven airships, so seeing that first. Now. We are going to have Lemmy Koopa at the end. Mitch will be the first one there. Is he going to be a one-hitter again? Let's find out. He is! He is! <laughs> the shrimp again! <laughs> Why, what, is it next? what is it with you and Lemmy being buddies and he just doesn't want to play when you're... <laughs> I have no idea. But twice, Lemmy... The ultimate shrimp, easy kill for Mitch, easy kill for Ryko, should be an easy kill for Dave Lindo. Man, gotta love it. Meanwhile, we're going to need a better, bigger airship. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a big enough airship to hide weakling Lemmy there as we move on to World 1. The item was a mushroom, and we need to build a bridge, but there are two forts. Could it be 4F2? Bridge in World 1, that is a unique unique uh, thing to have to do here. That's right. So we'll see if the donut fort here is the ticket for Mitch, or if we have to play the second fort. Ryko in that same 4F2, having a little bit of trouble with that hot foot. Mitch on his way against Boom Boom, takes him down. Dave Lindo on his way to World 2. Fred, going to be delighted to see another one-hit Lemmy Koopa. He'll be moving on. The world too it is anybody's game at this point I, and unfortunately we got to play the other one and i don't know if you saw mitch's uh, first jump onto boom boom there that was a nice uh, style jump under the under the block bonking of the block to get in just very tiny gap to get the uh most precise hit you probably could get on any boom boom here and you're talking about one of the most skilled Super Mario Brothers 3 runners in the world. Anybody could do Indeed. swag like that. It's going to be Mitch. Here's the carpet for it. 6F3. This will be the one that will build the bridge here in World 2. And he just did the entire fort with Boom Boom Boss music, and now he's getting the Boom Boom Boss music again. Right. Now, talking about Lemmy here, I know... Lemmy has been weak a lot when I do commentary, but listen, the law of averages is going to change eventually. You mean it's going to be five hit next time you do commentary? More than likely. We're, you know, we're going to be doing commentary again on Thursday, so it wouldn't surprise me. Mitch finding yeah. one match so far. There's a second match with the 10 coin. Finds another flower. Can he find the mushroom? He does. But the one up. There's another match. Mitch, the last oh. start. No dice. Not good quite round, though. Board. Yeah, very good round. And I saw a camera brother suit and a Shinooki suit, I think, among the goodies. Plus a fire flower as well and a music box. And we have nippers. 
Ooh, but here is 5-3, another stage that people like to skip because of how long it is. And I with that difficult enemy sets like Runaway Chain Chomps, yeah, some people I, like to skip it. I think I saw one of the Fire Nippers. It didn't jump. It actually just stayed on the ground. So I think that was a Fire Nipper. It just didn't spit any fire. So that could be more dangerous for other runners here. Uh, you want that. That? Whoa! I thought Raiko was going to buy it there for a moment. That was a close shave right there. Just one more obstacle left to go. He's there. And she gets a Fire Flower power-up. Should be able to clear the rest of the zone no problem. Yes, indeed. That's... Yeah, there's the fire right there. That was the nipper I was talking about. Yep, you're right. Next up is 1-2 for Raiko. He currently is our leader of all four of our runners at this point. Dave trying to blaze through the end of this 5-3 is at uh, Super Mario at the moment. Going to check the power-up. Yep, he'll get a Fire Flower. Should be able to clear the rest of this with little trouble. Just has one more jump left. There he goes. Mitch is done with 2-2, two -two, as is Raiko Ryder. Fred and now in 5-3. Mitch taking a slight overall lead, but just to remind anyone who is coming in late here, the there are two different matchups here. This is not a four-way. We have Mitch versus Dave. We have Riker Rider versus F. Coughlin, Fred, the creator himself. So those are the two different matchups we do have going on, and both are in different groups. On the left is a group C matchup. On the right is a group H matchup. We have a hammer from the uh, coin ship stage there for Mitch. That's definitely going to help him out. Oh, that will. pick up that same hammer. Here's the World 2 airship. have Larry Koopa at the end. We'll see if he is built with any strength. Raiko has his hammer. One hit. Okay. There's two hits, and that's two all hits. Two. Yeah, they're generally weak in the seats today, and there's another uh, one of those uh, screen skips, those animation skips. Yep, Mitch nailing another one of those. Dave now in the uh, Boomerang Brothers scene at the coin ship. He'll get his hammer. Fred in a little bit of trouble here in 2-2. Two -two. He's going to get a much-needed star right there. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Yes, indeedy, Cyclone Raikou. Getting past World 2, moving on to World 3, we get a leaf from the princess, and it is World 2 in World 3's position. A leaf is the same as a P-Wing, except the P-Wing is infinite. We have 2-3 as our first stage here in World 3. Fire oh, jump, getting Mitch there. Now Fred this end, out. getting this stage can be interesting, especially with a fire snake just floating around right there. But he managed to jump over that and managed to go far enough the other way. He's gonna have to do some dodging though, and there's two of them coming after him. He's just gonna take the hit and move on. And that is fine. And Mitch done with two three. Raiko in the same two three right now. Fred getting past the coin ship is now in the world two airship. Now, let's see how Raikou handles the Fire Snake chaos here. So far, so good. He's hoping oh. that the shell's going to... Wow, this is going to be... This is going to be hot right here. Boom! Yeah, that is a hot ending, needless to say. Very nicely done. We have another World 2 stage here. It's World 2-5. Dave not getting to the end. He is uh, getting sapped along the way, so that's going to slow him down a little bit. Yeah, and again, as I mentioned in game number one, you don't want to be taking those kind of miscues against someone like Mitch. All right, back to the cards for Mitch. He's just got three more sets of cards left to go. No match on the 20. He should be able to clear it. He does. Yeah, should be able to clear it now. And gets a hammer. Another hammer. It was the uh, 20. Very nice. Now, there's not too many rocks to clear, but having those will be handy. So uh, we'll see if the rocks end up being key to any of these worlds coming up. Now, interesting. Raikou went up the vines there in 2-5. I wonder what the basis for his decision on that is, because that's that's a slower path. Not sure. And in any event, he'll move on to 3-1. And... and oh, Fred falling victim to the fire snake. Fred falling victim to his own randomizer, and the fire snake's just gaining up on him at the end of 2-3. Would you believe another World 2 stage here in this World 2 map? This time it's the <laughs> Oasis 2-4. We've seen three of the seven. Is this even randomized? I can see Chad asking right now. 
Right. I don't know if we've seen a fort yet, but if it's the, I swear if it's a World 2 fort. <laughs> <laughs> it's a World 2 fort. Yeah, so, so that's just, yeah. Oh, here comes that fort, Mitch is about to enter. Come on, be World 2 fort. Come on, do now, it. It looks like Fred had yeah. an easier time with the snakes that time. They did both uh, deceased themselves like, along the shell. And we are in fire for it. Yep, 5F2 this time. So rip the dream at this point, but no matter. Mitch is just going to keep on running here. Just don't stop. Don't worry about anything that's in front of you. And just beat this fortress down to a pulp. Fred right now in 2-5. Dave at the cards trying to make some matches. Gets the one up. Looking for the star here. Can he find it? Yes. Now looking for the mushroom. We know where it is. Nope, that was the 20. So his turn is over. Raiko taking the upper path, doesn't want to deal with the riffraff on the bottom. It is slower, but definitely much safer with all the coins and fewer enemies. So he's just going to use that leaf, fly past everything, and move on. Not a bad play. We have Sledge Brothers in I on Ice, which is the uh, musical that you're not going to see coming from Disney. Yes, um, I hear it's not going to be released until 2023. Oh, they actually have a date on that now. Yes, they they just posted it uh, tonight. <laughs> Here's the World 4 airship. We're going to have Morton Koopa at the end. We'll see if he's any saltier than he was in the first race. He was just a two-hitter in the first race. Ryko at the card. Yeah. Not the very mushroom. salty. Not very salty in the first race. Nope, there's one hit. Oh, loses the fire. Well, that's that's enough salt as it is. Well, two is not enough. How about three? Three it is. Ah, that's enough salt. Just and the then... right amount. So the Koopa Kid's strength has been going up. We saw a one, we saw a two, we saw a three. Let's go for four and four. Come on, make it happen, game. Let's, let's just skip straight to five. No, no, no. We got to do it gradually, Cyclone. We got to do it gradually. Raiko now in 5F2. By the way, he did complete his card, so now he's got all M's. And look at Dave Little also taking the Oasis path and getting a five up in the process. He's now up to 11 extra lives. Let's see what the mm. princess gives Mitch here from the letter. It is going to be a fire flower, his namesake. You know, it's kind of strange. The king was commenting that life is like a box of hammers, but you didn't get a hammer from the princess? <laughs> <laughs> Here's 3-7 with a boss bass. This is the stage I like to call jackpot because in the coin heaven, you get an extra prize at the end. But this is a stage you want to see early. There's no way Mitch is going to go for that extra item here. No Siri Bob. Look at Mitch using the, the right cross. Wow, nice tail swipe of boss bass. Very nice. And Raikou and uh, Dave are both in Fire Fort right now. Dave's slightly ahead on that run. Maybe that's the reason why Raiko and Dave Lindo took the upper path, as we saw Fire Brothers on the bottom for Fred, and back to start he goes. Oh, we found 7-8. Yuck. 7-8, the Piranha stage, and Mitch in a little bit of trouble here. He's this it. Oh, oh boss pass. The boot. Uh, it would behoove him to take the pipe. Let's see if he does. He does. He does, no question. You don't want to deal with that boss pass in this stage. What do we have behind that giant question mark? Hey, that's pretty, pretty nice. Tricky. I like it. Suit. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's going to despawn all of the riffraff. Unfortunately, loses to Duduki suit, but no matter. He's done with 7 8. Meanwhile, Raiko on the world. F three airship, which is the World 4 airship. We need three hits to take down Morton. There's two of them. There's three of them, as Mitch is now in 6-4. And oh. Raikou finishes. Raikou went for the uh, off-screen wand grab, but didn't get it, and Dave is now finishing the fight himself. Yep, he'll get his wand. We'll move on to World 4. Fred now in 5F2, and again, this is a must-win for Fred here. If Raiko wins, he'll be 3-3, three and three, and Fred will be eliminated from bracket stage contention. In fact, this point, it's looking very thin for Fred's chances here. He has to win if he wants to have any chance here. You're correct. P-Wing there for Mitch. We've seen plenty of those. Remember, that was the item in the hand stages, and now another. Look at the three Hammer Brothers just lined up, and now they're not lined up. Now you see it, now you don't. They were lined up. And the Sledge Brothers are all going upstairs, so good luck getting to them. Oh. Like, that's one way to get them. That'll work just fine, too, because now you're not breaking the blicks. There's a Jugum Cloud. Oh, 
Another boss pass. Yeah, this is 3-7 that we saw Mitch on yep. earlier. And uh, Dave Lindo, let's see if he decides to take the upper path. Nope, he's going to make a run for it. Look where boss pass is. He was, he was right in the he's, airway. He's the auto scroll. Yeah, he's upstairs. Nice. Also, Raikou is going to take the coin heaven here. He's going to take the jackpot, and he's going to hope that the prize at the end is something that could help his chances against Fred Coughlin. What do we have? Wow! Oh! What a prize for Raikou Ryder. He definitely hit the jackpot there. Well, that got interesting. Absolutely, it did, Cyclone. Now, speaking of interesting, we are yeah, for the first time tonight seeing 7F2 and Mitch using a P-Wing. Smart choice. We don't want to bother with that SMB2J84 pipe. Let's just go right on through it, and Mitch is just going to tackle the west rest of the way. Shouldn't have any trouble with the boom-boom fight. Mitch, Ryko now at 6-4. Mitch just tearing through the tunnel of tough love as uh, it was turned about a couple weeks ago. Really? That's an yeah, interesting someone, nickname. Someone call it that in chat. I went with it. I like it. The Tunnel of Love, because, yeah, you have to duck through. I mean, if you're small, it's not that bad. But if you're big, chances are you're probably going to get hit. Here's the World 3 airship. We're going to be going up against Iggy. You think he's going to be a 5-hitter? I think he's going to be a 4-hitter. Let's see if either one of us well, is we want to see. We want to see Amino eat their vegetables a little bit here. They're, they've been very weak so far in both races tonight. Ooh, we're going the wrong And they way stay though. weak! Two hits this time, and Mitch not quite high enough to get this skip this time. Well, you know, they're going They're going with the whole gradual thing. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe. We'll see. It remains to be seen. Well, if the pattern holds true, the next one should be one. But we'll find out. You could be right with three. Raikou now in 7F2. Fred, taking care of a sledgehammer brother, gets a P-wing. What is Six that line four. that Mitch is seeing right now? No idea. And there's a Tanuki suit as the uh, bonus from the princess. Which pipe is it going to be? Are we going to see the pipe with the view? Not yet. Oh, card game. I skip. How about this pipe? Is this the way out? No. Well, he doesn't want to do it, but he's going to do the pipe right stage. And we have an angry son that's not going to get launched. And Mitch going to use the paw strats. Oh, the paw strats. But took some damage there, but no matter. He is done with this piranha stage. He gets another P-Wing. My goodness. No shortage of those. It's almost like each seat has its own flavor of what it expects you to do, and P-Wings is the flavor of the day. There's certainly worse flavors than that. It's a great item to have. Raikou now going to take his turn against Iggy. Just two hits required. Got him. Look out, Dave. Oh, oh. nice dodge. We found the end of the area here, but it uh, looks like he is still looking around. We need a bridge. Yeah, bridge is needed. Yep, or as, or as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger would say in True Lies, the bridge is out! I'll let you do that. I don't have a good Arnold. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I already did it. So, so moving yeah. on, here's, here's the World 2 Fort. Oh, Fred almost taking a fall into the uh, single tile of lava there, but manages to uh, save it. And clutch. then the thwomp gets him into the, other, in the double tile of lava. Dad coming. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a clutch 7F2 performance there from Dave Lindo. He'll be moving on to the fort. Mitch taking care of the boom boom in the spike fort. He'll be moving on. Fred has resorted to P-Wing. Can't blame him at this point. Raikou now in the uh, piranha stage here, which will get him his umpteenth P-Wing. That's a number? Oh, That's a made-up number. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately... That Fort 2 that Mitch just completed was not the fort required to build the bridge. He's going to have to find the other fort. Dave needs two hits. Oh, this is... Whoa! That was a close wow. call. Dave was almost squeezed shut there. Was able to take down Iggy and move on to World 5. Close call. Fred also making a quick duck through the running, through the tunnel I love there, giving up the P-Wing. Nice job there for Fred. 
And this World 7, this, this seed is not a very fast seed at all. And again, remember that seeding implications are on the line for Mitch as he's trying to go not only 6-0, and but potentially maybe get the number one seed overall in the bracket stages. Here's the quicksand stage. Well, you said it in the very first uh, race here tonight. You said that uh, the best, the person who's going to like seeing Mitch having trouble with the longer seeds here is going to be Gamer Kyle, who's sitting in that number one spot, we believe, right now. So uh, the fact that we're already at 25 minutes, and we're only on World 5 for Mitch, and he's in the lead, tells you this is going to be a long one. Yeah, we still haven't seen uh, Worlds 5 and 3 yet. Those potentially could be long. It could potentially be short, but they could potentially be long. Reiko is able to make that cycle. Here's the boom, boom fight for him. As Fred takes care of Iggy in World 4, he'll be moving on to World 5. Here's Fort Knox, but unfortunately for Mitch, no tail, so he's going to have to pick it up. And he is off to find his tail, and we're going to get our little Tanuki suit here. Yeah, man, it's always going to be a Tanuki suit. Because you have to have some kind of tail to make it up to the top to face off against Boom Boom. And Mitch takes to these guys, he gets in the pipe, and he's gonna take on yet another Boom Boom. I mean, I know I say it every I know I say it every race, but you think Boom Boom will get sick of this by now? Well, he's under contract, so he's got no choice. Yeah. All right, so this should be what builds the uh, bridge for Mitch, but I'm going to tell you what. Dave picked the right fort first, and when he gets to the end, he's going to be happy about this. Yeah, this is going to give him some time. Yeah, he's still going to be trailing Mitch, but he's going to cut some of the gap here. Now, Mitch using a P-Wing for this airship. It happens to be the World 5 airship. Ludwig von Koopa will be waiting for him, and we'll see if he's the high jump variety. I can see Ludwig possibly eating up. Well, guess what? It's the wow! pyramid pattern. The pyramid pattern. One, two, three, two, one. It's going to be two, three. Too easy. Wow. The old... The old... Uh... <laughs> It's like the race car effect there, the palindrome. One, two, three, two, one, and he gets another animation skip. Mitch moving on to World 6. And also being reminded that we have the terms and conditions of the randomizer have apparently been updated. <laughs> Which they're constantly being changing, so if you're being tested on it, well, you're going to have to restudy. <laughs> Instant fort right off the top, and Mitch going to... Oh, he's going to take a chance here. He's hoping that fort's not required. He's got the resources. Is this a one and done? No. No, it goes right below. Wow. <laughs> what a... What... That boss pass. Wow. Six... Boss pass to the world six stage. Yep. Yeah. Well, Mitch knew he had to take a chance and hope that it would take him to the end, you know, to improve his time. But the game just flat out saying... No, giving him the cold shoulder. He knows he needs that fast time, and it's not happening. The seeds are saying, nope, not the today. Yep. Well, here's some Fire Brothers that are going to give Mitch a little bit more misery here, but he takes him down and gets a star. Here's 7-1 for Dave Lindo. Let's see if he... Remember, this is the stage that gave him trouble in game number one, but this time he'll have a chance to do the block clip. 6-8 now for Mitch Ryko. Taking the pipe here, hoping he finds the way out. Fred's now in the quicksand stage here. Pretty close race between Raiko and Fred at the moment. Dave gets the block clip. Nice job. And Dave able to dodge the fireworks there. He's currently sitting on 12 extra lives. Mitch sitting on 11 at the moment. Here's Raiko with his attempt. Mac and cheese with the Tanuki suit! <laughs> Wow, very nicely done there for Raiko. A little extra spice. You better believe it. 7 4 now for Mitch. Again, the auto scroll is off. This is normally an auto scroller stage. Now, this is this is a stage where the frog suit can really come in handy. It enables you to swim fast. Ha having the auto scrolls makes this stage a little bit more tolerable. 
Yeah, swimming through this thing with the having to wait for so long while you're bobbing in the jellyfish is not fun. Absolutely, here's and the star should help Mitch finish the rest of this 7-4. Just has to get through one more set of these gauntlets. Not a problem at all. Raiko now in the World 5 airship. We'll be delighted to discover one hit is all we need. I'll tell you what. Cyclone, maybe we save the ultimate Baconator for Wendy, the five hitter. We haven't seen a five hitter yet all night. Maybe we've saved it here. Save it for the, let the girl be the one to say, hey boys, you need to bulk, bulk up. Absolutely. Here's the pyramid stage now for Mitch. Dave Lindo just completed World 5 himself. I'll tell you what, if he was racing against Ryko Ryder, he would actually be in the lead. It's just, once again, he's currently up against the buzzsaw, but he has held his own. I will say this much. He is holding his own. Like He's having a much better run this second race, but may, it may be one of those perception bias type things where, yes, he's going against Mitch, who's a super skilled runner, uh, but Mitch is having more trouble in this seed than I think he did in the first seed, and that's why oh, it's a little bit closer to a race. Oh, absolutely, so. he's having more trouble. He had a lot of trouble in the beginning, and this has not been the speedy seed. Here's the first of the military branches. This is the super tanks level. The easier the two, in my opinion. Well, speaking of uh, military, here's another one. Raiko in the Navy. Where think, he can put his mind at ease with the Tanuki uh, suit. Yeah, I think we saw that on another screen already. I forget who it was. Well, you might be right. I, I, I missed it. Here's Fred at the cards. He's going to complete his hand. And I believe this is 6-2 where Dave Lindo is right now. Mitch going to use the Tanuki suit here. We find 7-3. Uh, and he's through. What was I that? I just heard... I've heard that sound effect before. Sometimes when you get a one-up, it makes a weird jingle like that. I've... I've never heard it just like in the middle of nowhere before. I'm gonna have to ask Mitch. I'm gonna have to ask Mitch how he did that. Yeah, I, want, I thought it was a follow over for a second. So here's the World One airship here. Hmm. So here is the Wendy fight. Come on, she's got to be. A lot of Come HP, on, right? Wendy. Two is not Come enough. On, Wendy. Come on, three. It's no! three. No! Oh my goodness! We only have one more world left to go, and we know it's got to be the earthquake variety for uh, Mr. Roy. It's got to be five. Oh, we, um, we I just five. I just got an indication what that sound effect was from. Uh, that actually happens to be his uh, donation readout. That's oh. it happens to be the same sound as the reverse one-up jingle. So. Good choice, by the way. I like that sound. The plane! The plane! It's it's Fantasy Island! And now just because hammer you know, bro suit! I don't think we have seen one yet. So now we just have to hope that he doesn't get a bunch of donations. But thank you for whoever did donate to Mitch Firepower. I'm sure he appreciates it. Right you are there. And we have now entered the level, Homer Simpson's favorite level. It is... 5-5, five, five, where he can have all the donuts in the world. Oh, look at all those donuts. Yep. The donut Raiko. buffet. <laughs> Raiko in the pyramid. Dave Lindo currently in 7-4, finds his star. Should have no trouble finishing off the rest of this level. Fred taking the pipe. He's unfortunately going to see that this is the troll pipe. 3-8 now on Mitch's side. And we have an angry son, but no boss pass, so I'll take it. That is a nice sprite. Yep, it glitches out when it's about to unleash its wrath, but it's not going to unleash its wrath very long. Mitch done with 3-8. We have a boss pass that Fred's trying to outrun, which he does. Ryko now in the World 1 airship. Again, it's going to be a three-hit normal Wendy. No Baconators for her tonight. And oh, what a terrible break for Dave Lindo. Oh. The beetle shell didn't break the bricks. Here's the world one fort for Mitch. Well, the good news for this level is you have to have the beetle shells in, otherwise you can't complete it. Yeah, and Fred's going to be in big trouble if you don't have those beetle shells. Mitch trying to do the clip, and he gets it on the second oh. try. Very nice. 
I didn't know that clip existed in that level. Oh, absolutely, it exists. You, you, you do, it's just you don't see it very often because you're either taking the normal way or you're flying to get that item. And uh, people who have Ness Carnelli's emotes, let's see those commands in chat. Tanuki suit finish for Raikou against Wendy. That's hard to do. Come on. Now, we'll see if Dave Lindo can follow suit here. He'll have the same opportunity. Ooh. Gets the star. Mitch gets a star done. of his own. Here's Dave Lindo's chance. Can he get the kill? Two. One more. No! Oh! The last second, he loses it. Gets picked off. Rip the commands. Oh, just the random, random candy ring just appearing, half appearing in the middle of nowhere as he gets the hit. Well, she just and, got uh, it that off in time. his command. Yep, just got it off in time. Oh, well. But Dave does survive. He'll be moving on to World 7. Mitch clears that board, moving on to the next one. Ryko in 3-8. Just has a little bit left to go. Fred currently in 7-3. Ooh, and here's 6-5. We saw Mitch be very impressive with 6-5. This time, no boss pass. We know what he's got in mind. He's going to try for that clip again. Nope, doesn't get it on the first try. Ryko getting the fireworks with 5 extra lives. He's got 23 extra lives. Third try, clip. Nice job for Mitch. Oh, and oh, Dave, no bad chance. jump from Dave. Yeah, he yeah. made a uh, jump he had no chance of succeeding at. Yeah, he needed to be a little bit more patient. And look at all the Hammer Brothers suits. He's going to use one here. Not a bad idea. Why not? Mitch already at the end of World 7, where Roy's our boy is going to wait. Are we going to go completely devoid of five hitters the entire night? We're about to find out. We haven't had a four hitter either. We've had one. Well, not on this seed. Right. It's been all one, two, or three. Two is not enough. Three! three! Again! Nobody was stronger than three, and Roy goes down. Mitch going on to world eight. Can you believe it? I would say I should re-roll that, except it's been a long enough see as it is. Well, you dealt a hand of four trays, a couple of deuces, and an ace. That's a great poker hand, but that's not a great commentator's <laughs> hand for uh, Koopa HP. Better luck next time. Yeah, if you're playing Texas Hole, there's a four of a kind in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm holding the pocket threes. There's the community board. Three, two, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. And now we go to World 8. No locks to begin with. Potentially two chances of building bridges, but we're going to have to get through the Piranha Run or the, uh, the Chomper Run or the uh, Nipper Run or whatever you want to call it. Let's see if Mitch can pull off this one cycle. And yes, people in chat predict how many bridges it is going to take. Mitch does get the one cycle. Oh, wow. Nicely done. Perfect run there. We saw two bridges last time. I think we're going to see two bridges again. Uh, I kind of want to see a three, but we're going to see a one. Yeah, you're probably right. It's, we're going to we're gonna see maybe something big, and it's going to be a disappointment. We have World 8 Fort here in World 8. Could be the gatekeeper here. Well, that seems interesting. This was the gatekeeper in the first seed. That yeah, wouldn't surprise me if this was the gatekeeper here in the second seed. Here we have 6F1 now on Dave Lindo's side. World 1 Fort Fred is currently in right now as he gets a star. It's just flying through here. He's going to try to get the one cycle here. He'll take the damage boost from the disco apple. Success! And just to be clear, by bridges, we met, didn't mean the hand bridge because the hand stages are randomized like everything else, and they're elsewhere. But uh, we are talking about the bridges on the map leading to Bowser, that final map. Raiko's taking on Roy right now. Gets him. He's going to be moving on to Ooh. World 8 at 5F1 on Mitch's side. Not a fun level to do. Plenty worse forts, but yeah, this is definitely not a fort I'd want to play. There's two hits and three. Meanwhile, Dave is currently in the tower. I don't even think we saw that on Mitch's side. No, I don't think we did. Michael, right, moving on to World 8. Mitch taking the pipe. Let's see where it takes him to. 
I see no locks here. I've still not oh. seen any locks. What? We, we have a hand stage on hand bridge. One bridge. That's that's uh, the first two hand stages on world six. Third one's on hand bridge. If you need to go that way and a hand wants to drag you in, you're going. Oh, and Mitch is going to pay the intentional 100 coins because this is the representation of the army stage. So he knows he does not have to complete that one. There's the locks and there he gets grabbed. What's it going to be? A hand stage. There it is. He's going to play it out. And he's going to be successful. He's going to get another P-Wing out of this deal. I see I got my classification mixed up. Two of the hand stages appeared in World 6, but they were not hand bridge stage. Oh, I see. I got you. Hey, the Gimp Extreme oh LOC my. Special, a World 6 Fort in World 8. It happens to be 6F2, the Ice Fort. Gotta have it. One of the best ones to have in World 8, in my opinion. It's horrible. It's cold. It's, it's chilly. It's not fun. It's appropriate for something that, that Bowser would not want to have because, you know, he's the fire Koopa. I think ice would probably not be yeah. healthy for him. But Boom Boom goes down on Mitch's side. He'll move on. You may have noticed that Boom Boom jumps straight up when he's on ice as well. He doesn't jump towards you. A little bit of a twist that the developers threw in to try to make that fight a little different. And he gets grabbed by another hand stage, which this time... Oh, no. 5-3 beta. Would you like to have a hand? You know something? I think this is our first beta stage all it night. Might be. I mean, I, we I, might have had one earlier and just missed it, but... Uh... Maybe. Maybe. It's the first one I remember seeing. As Raikou's now in the World 8 Fort. He gets the one cycle. Nice job. Fred Coughlin done with World 7. So he's going to be joining Raiko in World 8. Chat confirming it's the first beta. It is the first one. I thought so. All right. Mitch done with the 5-3 beta. So, whoa, a fire brother at the end. But no harm, no foul. He'll be moving on. Random big, in two -two. Random big birth is swimming in 2-2. Two -two. Yep. No problem there for Dave. And here's the Air Force. That's the third and he, branch. And he gives up the P-Wing immediately. Mm. Now Mitch is going to try and do it the traditional way. No P-Wing. Shouldn't be too terribly much of a problem for Mitch. He is flying through these airships. Raikou now in that same 6F2. And you know, he's not all that far behind Mitch. I know he's not going up against him, but he's not that far behind. If those two meet later on, that could be an interesting race. Very well, could be. That is assuming Riker Rider gets to the brackets. Right, he still has to get there first. And if he does hold on against Fred, he goes to 3-3, three and three, and it would keep his hopes alive. Now Mitch well, is going to check to see if he has successfully built the bridge. He has, he has the suit ready, and yes. he did get the bridge, so he's off. All right, so... Mitch on his way to being 6-0 in group play here. Unless something really disastrous happens. He gets the first try. Perfect Very nice. again. Now, again, the time is not going to be anywhere near what he needs. It's a 43 minutes right now before we get into Bowser. going to be sub-44, possibly, if he gets the second clip here. But uh, he still. Gets the double? No. Yeah, good, a very good, a very good run through a very difficult seed. Yeah, this was not a... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog type of seed. This was one where you had to earn it. But Mitch having some trouble getting this clip here. Wants no part of that door. Raikou is able to successfully navigate his way through 5-3 beta. Mitch still having trouble getting the clip. At what and point do you cut your losses? Yeah, you fall down to the next level and that's not where you want to go. Nope, now here's the Air Force now for Raikou. And Dave Lindo has just completed World 7. He's on his way to World 8 as well, but I think it's still going to be too little too late unless, again, something really yeah. bizarre happens on Mitch's unless, side. Unless something really bad happens and he runs out of time trying to do the clip or something like that. At Mitch, this point, I would just give up and move on. Oh, I would too, but he does eventually is. get the clip, so he doesn't have to deal with the statues or the fireballs in Bowser's penultimate room. So, one more time... Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to say hi, Bowser. Here's Bowser. And bye, Bowser. We both did our catchphrases there. I yep. love it. There we go. Get your GGs out. For Mitch, he has a perfect 6-0 and 
in Group C will have a very high ranking into the bracket stages. Not an easy seat this time around, to say the least, but he did it. 6-0 and is Mitch. And official time, 44 minutes and 32 seconds. So still a sub-45, but oh man, that was not easy to do. And we're hearing ourselves, so we better mark them done. <laughs> I know, I heard, I heard myself too there. Ryko should be on his way to Bowser's Castle. The bridge should be complete for him, which it is. And I'll tell you what, he really kept pace with Mitch. If those two would have been at it, it would have been a thriller for sure. Yeah, that would have been a very good race on the top for sure. But uh, we're going to have to see what happens oh. if, if uh, yes. the next... Yeah, I think we have a company. You're right. We do have our winner, Mitch Flowerpower. Perfect 6-0 and oh in the group play. GG to you. Congratulations. But this seed, you really had to earn it. Yeah, I didn't like this seed at all. Not at all. The, the all right. Hammer Brothers right at the start. I think Didn't I die like three times in a row? That's yeah, crazy. you were down at <laughs> one extra life. You, you went ahead. You did something that you probably do once in a blue moon. And that was take the fireworks to get five extra lives, which I certainly didn't blame you at that point. No, right, I definitely it. had to, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about your uh, race here in just a moment, but Raiko's about to go three and three in his group play. Fred's unfortunately sees the bad news. He's got to build the bridge, and uh, unless Raiko makes some mistakes here, Fred is going to unfortunately be eliminated from bracket stage play. Is there a laser? No laser there for Raiko, so here we go one more time. Here's Bowser. And he gets to stick around a little longer. So the first seed, you really jetted through the first seven worlds, but then the old great equalizer happened in world eight. And what were you thinking at that point when you you realized it was becoming a full clear world eight? Uh, I was I was honestly just hoping that it wasn't behind that one lock behind the hand because we did the first two fortresses and I was like, sweet, this is going to be a fast world. Then I saw a lock on the hand bridge, and then behind the lock was a pipe, and I was like, oh no, here it comes. Yeah. And then I traveled all around World Aid, beating every level that I came across. I had no yeah. quads left, and World the lock Aid didn't break. World Aid things, yep. yep. Get your yep. GGs out for Ryko Rider. He sweeps tonight against Fred, goes to 3-3, three and three and keeps his hopes of making it to the bracket stages very much alive. He almost gets hung up as he jumps out for Bowser's final smash through as well, but he does get through. Official time, 47 minutes and 4 seconds. Very nicely done there for Raiko Ryder. So, you you knew what was at stake tonight, Mitch. Not only the 6-0, and but a, a, a shot maybe at getting to the number one seed in the bracket stages. Were you thinking that at all during either of your races? No, I don't. What do you mean the number one seed? Uh, fastest time, because uh, you know you were six and zero. There's a few others that are six and zero. I believe Gamer Cal coming into tonight was holding on to the number one seed. I'm not sure if that is still this case now, or if you maybe have taken it. But yeah, did that thought occur to you at all when you were uh, it, in the first seed? I didn't know what somebody had for the first seed, but I did know that I would be up there if I managed to nail that. Um, like 28 minute or so because i entered world eight at like 26 minutes or something right i'm thinking sub 30 25 26 somewhere in there yeah You're right yes, yeah exactly then, and then of course world eight doing world, world eight, eight things as yep. it normally does i took a chance on the first seed as well with the uh i did the the triple cloud in the uh cloud section in five and i really think that saved me a lot of time oh, absolutely it did so we have some simultaneous Air Force action going on between Dave Lindo and Fred. So it's a battle for third place between these two. Dave Lindo kind of kept up with you for the most part, but then World 7 was when he ran into some problems and you pretty much closed the door on that race. Yeah, I kind of had a couple problems in World 7 as well, but mine was only, I just did the wrong fortress. So at least I didn't, you know, get crazy lost or anything. Right. Right. Stand by here. Yeah, I think Ryko Rider has joined us as well. GG. Ryko Rider, GG to you. My first question is actually to Mitch Flower Power. Yo. With all those with all those water levels that were in the seed, where'd you find Gravity Suit? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Did you get pulled in by that one hand level? That's one of the um 
what is it? What, it's one of the uh, one of those levels that's not in the game. Did you guys, you guys remember that? Even the commentators, I was in there and it, it, the game was going like three FPS. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that one. That, <laughs> that was that a nightmare. Was, that was a level where gravity would have been really helpful. Oh yeah. I, I didn't get past any hands either, I got... Well, speaking of not getting of past any hands, Dave Lindo having all kinds of trouble finally gets past the 5 F3 hand, and now he's going to take the pipe. Great idea. You don't want to be having to go through that hand again. Fred, about to wrap up his run, though. He is in Bowser's Castle with the Hammer Bros suit equipped. Let's see if he decides to go for the clip or top route. Top route it is. Bridge built, though, for Dave Lindo, so we got a yep. potential photo finish looming here between these two. Well, it looks like uh, Fred is a little bit ahead, so unless he has yeah. bad luck getting to Bowser... Uh, the laser gets through the it! The laser! Oh! Wow! Hi, Bowser! And bye, Bowser! Get your GGs out for Fred! Wow! How did he get through that laser? And Dave loses his hammer suit, but he's gonna probably go ahead and finish this anyway. Yeah, he's in good shape to finish it, but yeah, that laser, that laser always surprises you, and uh, this time, Fred not getting hit, Dave gonna take the upper path, is he gonna try to clip? He is gonna try to clip! Let's see if Why not? He gets oh, nice, second try! Second try. Nice Very time. nice! Wow, Very that's so nice. good, it took me like 30 tries. I know! Yeah, you were having trouble with that on that last time. <laughs> I All was right. just like yelling in my office. I was like, how is this possible? Like, I should have at least accidentally got it. <laughs> uh, good times. My highlight of pro of my entire race was probably was probably first try 7-1 clip in a Tanuki. Ooh, that's always feels yeah, good. That. That's what you gotta be careful. You gotta stay out of the line of fire. Dave Lindo down to small. 